Hi again. Uh, I realise that uh, I may not be up to date with the uh, latest technology like the WizKids, uh, but equally not everybody understands the uh, older stuff as uh, I guess each generation goes by with its current technology. It may not fully appreciate what's gone before or what's current. Uh, this is uh, an AVO meter, Model 8, and uh, at the time making this video, 2011, it's 33 years old. Um, it has a mirrored scale, uh, that is, there's a, a mirror behind the scale, uh, so underneath uh, the needle. And uh, you may have seen these and wondered what the mirror's for. Um, if you look at this image, I've coloured the mirror blue, just to indicate where it is. Now, if you look at the needle in this image, um, you can see, well, it's, it's going through the zero, so um, you would say that's reading zero, but in actual fact, it's not. Uh, this picture was taken from uh, the left hand side, so I'm uh, not reading the meter head on. I'm reading it, looking at it from the side of the meter. Now, if you look closely at the mirrored part of the dial, you can see the reflection of the meter needle. Now, this is a parallax problem. And the way to overcome it is to read the meter looking directly over the needle. Here I'm looking directly over the needle and you can see that the, uh, the needle is definitely to the left of the zero reading. So I have the pupil of my eye lined up with this blue circle like this and I'll just uh, mark the pointer red to make it a little easier to see. Only when your eye is in line with the pointer or the needle and uh, it's uh, as it were striking through your pupil that is when you know you are definitely above the needle. So, if you have a mirrored meter, uh, check the zero before you start, and then when you take the reading, you do exactly the same thing. That uh, mirror goes right across the scale. So, first thing you do is align your eye, looking at yourself in the mirror, with your eye over the needle, and then you look up and take the reading off the scale. I hope that helps you and uh, hopefully you find it interesting. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your old instruments. Bye bye.